as I just showed you in the previous demo here in Adobe Illustrator, you start each Illustrator file from scratch with a brand new artboard. So again, I'm gonna to go to File and New. I will click on Print. I will click on Tabloid, which is 11 by 17, but I wanna make sure it is 11 by 17 by setting my ruler measurements to inches, 11 by 17. It's gonna be a vertical sheet of paper again, and I click Create. There's another blank artboard ready to go. I can hold my space bar and kind of move this around if it's kind of getting tucked underneath the layers panel or whatever. And the rhyme one more time is choose file and place so you can trace. Adobe Illustrator in my mind is Adobe Tracer. On my desktop, I find my Illustrator folder, chapter three. 3.1 drawing paths and I'm going to click once on file number two. This one's going to deal with corners. Again, you want to make sure your options are showing and there are no check marks turned on. You click place, you click once on your page, then with your black arrow you reposition that up on the page right there. To the right of layer one, we want to turn this into a scan that we can trace over. We want to mimic the look of tracing. So to the right of layer one, right in here, you double click and we'll call that drawing corners. Now I'm going to make that a template layer, a guide layer. I recommend you dim your images anywhere from 20 to 30%. In my case, since my screen is a little brighter for these demos, I might dim it down to 20%. That'll almost look like I laid two sheets of tracing paper on top of the scan. So again, you can see how dark the scan is, but when you create a template layer and you dim your images and you click OK, it'll be lightly grayed out. Always remember, template layers are locked. Don't touch them, especially don't touch the lock. Template layers are done. You're gonna create a brand new blank layer. You can double click the name again, and we'll just call that corners. I hit enter on my PC or return on my Mac to accept that layer name. And one more time, if you are starting on a brand new layer, hit D for default colors. That sets up a white fill and a black outline or stroke. We're not drawing any white artwork. So click on the white fill once so it pops up to the top and hit your question mark key. Why would I want to use white when there is no white on the page? We're just drawing black lines. D for default always sets your black stroke to a thin one point stroke, like a little piece of hair on the page. So for this introduction to Illustrator, I'm going to hit the up arrow and go with a five point stroke. Now that I'm ready to draw, I always recommend don't draw from a distance. I'm going to take my zoom tool click once. I've got a little bit of room here, so I'll click again. And that gives me a little bit of breathing room on each side, so I think that's good enough for what I want to do. I'm going to always click on my white arrow first, my editing tool. Then I go to the pen tool. And what I'm going to do is start off with a couple of points and then purposely make a mistake. So try to follow along with me. You're not going to impress me by jumping way ahead, okay? You're just going to be skipping a couple of things that I want to point out. Just be patient. We'll get to all the good stuff, but you got to go through all the boring stuff first, okay? I'm going to click, let go, click and let go, click and let go, click and let go, click and let go, and then I'm going to skip this corner. I'm going to click here make a mistake. Then I'm going to continue. Click and let go. Click and let go. Click and let go. 
click and let go. And then on this one, instead of just clicking, I'm gonna press and hold and drag to the right. I'm gonna accidentally make a curve. Notice how every time I make an accident, I don't stop. I just keep going. Click and let go, click and let go, click and let go. And then here, instead of clicking right on that corner, I'm gonna make a mistake. And down here, instead of clicking on that corner, I'm gonna make another mistake. Keep going. Click and let go, 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 click and let go. Now I'm ready to correct my errors. Now remember, before we drew with the pen tool, we clicked on the white arrow. That's your editing tool. So all you have to do is hold down your command key on your Mac or your control key on your PC and there is your editing tool. If you click right between these two anchor points on this segment, you can move that entire segment like that. Okay, you can move the whole segment. If you click on the point, you can move the point itself. So I can easily correct that error. If you accidentally clicked and dragged and you made a curve, you come back to your pen tool, press and hold, and you have an anchor point tool. Used to be called the convert anchor point tool. But nowadays, Adobe just knows that you already know what that should do. Well, I'm telling you, if you don't, it converts anchor points. So now I come right down to this curve, click, and it converts a curve back into a corner. Very simple to use. I come back to the anchor point tool, press and hold, and I go back to my normal pen tool. Now notice we have a line that is currently active. We can see all the anchor points. In the bottom right of your pen tool, you will see a little asterisk sign. That means it's ready to start drawing new stuff. But if I forgot to put a point on this line and I hover over the line, a little plus will show up to the bottom right of my pen tool. That is your add anchor point tool. So now I can just click and add a point. Hold my command key on my Mac or control key on a PC and there's my white arrow, my editing tool. And I can just push that point back up where it belongs. So if you make mistakes, they're very easy to correct. Don't stop and delete it and start all over again. We're humans, we're going to make mistakes. But we also have the command key or the control key to correct those mistakes. So I'll hold command on my Mac or control on my PC and click once to deselect. Let go. Hold my space bar and I'll push this up. And it says after creating the first curve, you're going to hold your option key on a Mac or alt key on a PC only when starting each new curve. Okay, so right here, I look at the distance before I draw. That's pretty short. So 30% of that's gonna be pretty short. I click and drag up and to the right, short line for a short curve, let go, move away. Now at the end, it's going down and to the right, right there. The next curve starts from a corner. Anytime you are gonna start from a corner, you have to hold your Option or Alt key. If you don't, let's try it. Let's not touch our Option key or Alt key. If I start here and drag up, it ruins the first curve. So I'm ruining my drawing almost right from the start. So if that happens, Edit menu, undo. I know I'm starting from a corner, so I'm gonna hold my option or alt key. Now when I'm holding that key, I click and drag up and to the right. 
I let go of the mouse and the Option or Alt key. You only hold them at the beginning, not over here at the end. This curve goes up, comes down to the right, so without touching my keyboard, I'm gonna press and hold and continue to go down and to the right, right there. The next curve starts from a corner. That's when I hold Option or Alt key. Now I click and drag up and to the right because the next curve goes up to the right. I let go of the mouse and the keyboard. I do not hold any keys when I'm at the end of my curve. It's coming down and to the right. So I press and hold without touching the keyboard and continue down and to the right until I've bent that curve. And now I have one more. It starts from a corner. You only hold your Option or Alt key when you are starting from a corner. Option key on my Mac or Alt key on my PC. Now I go way up to the right. Longer line for a longer curve. I let go of the Option key and the keyboard. I'm sorry, the Option key and my mouse. Now I go up come down this curve it's coming down and to the right so at the end I do not touch my keyboard I press and hold on my mouse and continue to go down and to the right there's my third curve command click on my Mac or control click on my PC and eventually if you really wanted to get good at this what I would always recommend is you take your black arrow, click and drag and hit the line, and hit delete or backspace, and draw it again. You know, if it took you three or four minutes to do it the first time, it'll probably take you two minutes the next time, and then it'll probably take you a minute to do it the fourth, third or fourth time. You'll get the hang of this. So eventually, I wanna be able to draw like this. White arrow first, then the pen tool, and again, I'll just repeat out loud what happens in my head. Curve goes up, so I go up. Curve comes down, so I go down. Option on my Mac to start from a corner. Curve goes up, so I go up. No option key at the end. Curve comes down. Option key to start from a corner. Curve goes up. No option key at the end. Curve comes down. Option key or Alt key at the corner to start. No keyboard at the end when it comes down. So eventually that stuff will just be kind of free flowing through your head and you'll be able to repeat those commands quicker and quicker. But only if you want to try it. If you want to do it once and you think you got it, great. If you're a little shaky at this, I was too. Do it again. Command click on my Mac, control click on my PC, space bar for the hand tool, and I'll push this up. Maybe move my layers panel out of the way a little bit. And I'll do it again. From here, the curve goes up and to the right. I let go, move away. Now the curve is coming down and to the right. So I press and hold and continue down and to the right. I let go, move away. I'm tracing the black line. So I'm gonna follow that. The black line goes up and to the right. So I'm gonna press and hold and go up and to the right. The next curve starts from a corner. That's when you hold your Option or Alt key, when you are starting from a corner. Option or Alt key to start from a corner. Now the curve comes down to the right. Let go of my mouse and the Option key or Alt key. The curve comes down, now it turns and goes back up. So I'll press and hold and go up. I let go of my mouse. Notice it did make that curve, but I didn't quite go up high enough for the next curve. So I'll just come back, press and hold. I'm not holding the Option key because that's not a corner. Press and hold and go up a little bit higher for the next longer curve. 
I'm ending on a corner, not starting, so I don't hold my keyboard here. This wave goes up and comes down to the right. So I press and hold and continue down and to the right. Now when I come back, the next curve starts from a corner. That's when you hold your Option or Alt key. Curve comes down to the left. I let go of the mouse, let go of the Option or Alt key, and I follow that curve. It's coming down, turning, and going to the right. So I press and hold and continue going to the right, like that. Now the next curve starts from a corner. That's when I'm going to hold Option or Alt key. The curve slightly goes up to the left. I let go of the mouse, let go of the Option or Alt key, and I follow the rest of the curve. It's going up, up turns and comes down to the right. So I'm going to press and hold and continue going down and to the right. The last curve starts from a corner. So I'm going to hold Option or Alt key. The curve comes down and to the left. I let go of the mouse, let go of the Option key, and I follow that curve. It's coming down and turning and going to the right. So I'm going to press and hold and continue going to the right. And there we go. Command click on my Mac or control click on my PC and we will deselect that line. Space bar for my hand tool and I'll push this up. And it says, remember, hold the option or alt key only when you are starting each new curve. Okay, so notice I'm not doing anything here. That's just the end of the line. So I'm going to draw this again with the steps that are kind of going through my brain. If the curve goes down to the right, I click and drag down to the right. When the curve comes up to the right, I click and drag up to the right. The next curve starts from a corner, Option or Alt key. The curve goes down to the right, so I go down to the right. Let go of my mouse and the Option key. Don't touch the keyboard at the end of a curve, and it's coming back up to the right. I only hold my Option or Alt key at the beginning when I'm starting from a corner. The curve goes down to the right. I let go of my mouse and my Option key. I do not touch my keyboard at the end of a curve, and it's going back up to the right. Right over here, this straight line starts from a corner. Remember, with straight lines, you don't click and drag. So I'm just gonna hold my Option or Alt key and click to start a straight line. Don't touch the keyboard at the end, click to end a straight line. Option or Alt key, because I'm starting from a corner, click and drag up because the next curve goes up. Let go of my mouse, let go of my keyboard. Don't touch the keyboard at the end of the curve where it's coming down and to the right. So I'll press and hold and continue down and to the right. The next segment is a straight line and it's also starting from a corner. So I'm gonna hold Option or Alt key to start from a corner. If it's a straight line, you don't click and drag. You click, let go of your mouse, let go of your keyboard. Don't touch the keyboard at the end of the line. For a straight line, you click. Now the last curve starts from a corner. That's when you hold Option or Alt key. The curve comes down. Let go of your mouse, let go of your keyboard. Don't touch the keyboard at the end of the curve where it's coming back up and to the right. So you press and hold and continue up and to the right. Command click on your Mac, control click on your PC. And now, oh, right there. Now, figure this one out on your own. Remember the rules for corners. So I'm just gonna draw it quickly, okay? Cause I'm a little faster at this stuff. 
So I'll repeat the steps really quick. This is kind of how my brain works. Click, 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 option to start, no option to end, option to start, click, shift click for a horizontal, option or alt to start, curve goes down, no option or alt key at the end when the curve goes up, option or alt key to start, click for a straight line, shift click for a horizontal line, click to continue a straight line, click to continue a straight line, option or alt key to start from a corner and it goes up, no option or alt key at the end and it comes down, option or alt key to start from a corner goes down to the left, no option or alt key at the end and it goes down to the right, option or alt key to start from a corner and I'm starting a straight line so I click let go of my keyboard and click. Don't touch my keyboard and click. Option or Alt key to start from a corner and it goes up to the right. No keyboard at the end as it comes down to the right. And there we go. Command click or control click on your PC. When you get to the end point, take a minute or two, get to the end point. Or you could pause the video while you're drawing. When you are done, command or control click on your PC and then hit command zero or control zero on your PC. Fit page on screen. As usual, when you are done, I just always go to my black arrow. It's like your move tool in Photoshop. When you are done, I do not need to see the scan that you've traced. So you click on your bottom scan, throw it in the little trash can at the bottom of your layers, and this is all I need to see. So once more, it's File Menu, Save As. I'll call that, ah, I hate when this window pops up. So I'm gonna say, don't show me that window again. I always want to save on my computer. Now I'll say last name, first name, drawing corners. Always on my desktop, always as Adobe Illustrator. You shouldn't ever have to change the format now. Adobe Illustrator files are saved as Adobe Illustrator, AI. I go to save. I don't need to change the version here. All these settings are saved and remembered from the previous file. So I just click OK. And that's how you're going to deal with corners. So you are going to love your Option or Alt key. You cannot draw without it. So memorize where it's at because you're going to be using it a lot here in Adobe Illustrator. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create closed borders, like starting and going all the way around back to the start. We'll do that in a couple minutes.